All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a sincere Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. I want to go on this lesson on basically the things that we're enduring in this truth okay the things that we go through are nothing compared to what Yahweh Shah went through man okay with that said I want to get into the scriptures Hebrews 12 and 1 wherefore seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us and let us run with patience the race that is set before us okay now in this truth man you're going to catch out one way or another there ain't no no getting around it okay this 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 truth is a, is a race and if you, if you know anything about um you know racing or running uh track or anything like that that can get grievous man you know you you can you can pass out okay if if you ain't hydrated okay you get tired your, your legs start cramping up and everything man okay and and this is a, a spiritual race man you know so the things that that we go through and um and this this race okay you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna uh feel like you know like you catching all hell okay but you have to endure this thing man and finish it okay it's, it says looking onto yahweh shah the author and finisher of our faith so when you go through these things man okay yahweh shah um the one who the world ignorantly calls jesus he he set the the the, the blueprint for how we supposed to be in this truth man okay he he went through it himself and 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 he finished this course man and 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 we have we have a lot that we have to do in this truth okay none of us are greater than yahweh shah it says who for the joy that was set before him bef uh endured the cross despising the same and set and is set down at the right hand of the throne of yahweh for consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself lets you be worried and faint in your minds okay so yahweh shah went through um the pain and struggle of dying for our people man okay when you know we know that that it was set up um or built by design you know that that the most high yahweh um did that okay um the scripture says for for uh, john three sixteen is you know a lot of these people want to uh quote it in these uh churches and stuff that they don't really understand for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son okay the lord gave his only begotten son okay for for the the, the children of israel to to understand more, most um importantly at this point in time is for the elect to understand okay that no matter what we go through yahweh shah went through uh that plus worse man okay and and we are gonna go off we go off all the time man you know we deserve the shit that, that comes down on us man you know this is this is uh things that 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 needs to be done you know to get us right for the for the kingdom okay but i wanted to go in a little bit on the things that yahweh shah went through um on the cross and before the cross okay this is um uh matthew 26 and 64 yahweh shah said for unto him thou hast said nevertheless i say unto you hereafter shall you see the son of man sitting on the right hand of power okay and coming in the clouds of heaven which this is going to happen the second coming okay it says then the high priest rent his clothes they, they tore his clothes saying he have spoken blasphemy what further need have we of witnesses behold now we have heard his blasphemy what think ye they answered and said he is guilty of death 
he is guilty of death. Okay? He ain't, he ain't come and, 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 and do half the shit that we did, man. Okay? But these people was, are saying that Yahweh Shah was worthy of death because of the, the, the doctrine that he came. The things that he was saying, the, the miracles that he did, man. Okay? So they, they tore his clothes. It says, then they spit in his face and buffeted him and others smote him with the palms of their hands saying, prophesy unto us, thou, thou Christ, who is he that smote thee? You know? So, so the, the, the blatant disrespect from the high priest, man, you even got people out here that, that are calling themselves high priest to this day. Okay? But the, the, the blatant disrespect that these guys was was doing onto our lord and savior okay it's nothing compared to to what the heck god we, we're going through man okay but he went through this so that we can we can have a chance okay uh matthew 27 and 22 it's, it says Pilate saith unto them what so i do then with yahweh Shah, who is called uh hamashiach or, or christ it says they all say unto him let him be crucified. And the governor said, Why? What evil have he done? So Yahweh Shai didn't do any evil, man. But they cried out the more saying, Let him be crucified. Okay? And you, you can uh, you can imagine the, the, the feeling, okay, of, of of these people saying, Let him be crucified, man. Okay? A lot of people read this Bible as if it's some type of storybook man but this is some this is these are real life stories man that that happened man okay y'all saw was crucified it says when Pilate saw that that he couldn't prevail nothing but that rather a tumult was made he took water and washed his hands before the multitude saying i am innocent of the blood of this just person see ye to it because because Pilate couldn't see anything wrong that was that was done to him and he Hey, he, 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 um, he, he, he wanted to, to, to set them free, but the people wanted, wanted a, a, a wicked ass nigga, Barabbas, okay, to be free, okay? Pilate wanted to just, uh, uh, beat Yahweh Shah up and, and, and send him along his way, but the people were saying that they wanted him crucified, okay? The same people that he was doing, doing miracles for, Okay, they, they turned his back on him. So so when God's turned that back on you and his truth, you're supposed to understand that shit, man. Okay? That is all spiritual. You're going to lose your family. You're going to lose your, 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 your woman. You're going to lose all type of stuff, man. We, 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 it, ain't, it ain't promised that you're going to have no smooth ride into the kingdom. Okay? We're going to go through hell, man. Okay? And that's um in the, in the book of Acts, man. Okay, Conf confirming the, 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 the souls of the disciples that, that we're going to have to go through much tribulation to make it to the kingdom. Okay? Um, it says, Then answered all the, all the people and said, His blood be on us and on our children. So these are some wicked ass people, man, that say that this blood, His blood is on us and on our children. Okay? Then released he, Barabbas, Onto them, and when he had scourged Yahweh Shah, he delivered them to be crucified. Then the soldiers of the governor took Yahweh Shah into the common hall and gathered unto him the whole band of soldiers. And they stripped him and put on a scarlet robe. So they took off the things that he had on, man. Okay? And they, they put on a different robe. And when they had plaited or plaited a crown of thorns, they put a crown of thorns on his head. They put put it upon his head and a reed in his right hand and they bowed the knee to him i mean before him and mocked him saying hell yahweh uh, hell king of the jews so these people were sitting up there making jokes you know took off the clothes put a crown of thorn on his head man and, and, and started joking on him man crown cracking on him man so so if people sit up there talking talking shit about you man you know you gotta look at your side man it's the author Okay, he went through he went through this stuff, man. It says, and they spit on him, and took the reed and smote him on the head. So they, man, this is some wicked shit, man. Okay, they, these people were spitting on him, hit him on, on top of the head and everything. Okay, and after 
that I mean and after that they had mocked him they took the rope off from him and put his own raiment on on him and led him away to crucify him so after this whole joking and playing around with him they put the, the, the clothes that was already ripped up and all that stuff back on him and they and they led him away okay to, 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 to go kill him you know um, it says, and as they came out, they found a man of Cyrene, Simon by name. Him they compelled to bear his cross. And when they and when they were come unto a place called Golgotha, that is to say, a place of skull, they gave him vinegar to drink mingled with gall. And when he had tasted it, I mean, tasted thereof, he would not drink because they tried to give him this bullshit, man. Okay. It says, and they crucified him and parted his garments, casting lights. They, they the, the the clothes that he had. Okay, you get this piece, you get that piece, you get the sandals or whatever, you know. Else he he had on that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet. They parted my garments among them, and upon my vesture did they cast lots, and sit it down there. I mean, and and sitting down, they watched him there, and sat up over his head his accusation written this is Yahweh Shad the king of the Jews which he is the king of the Jews then were there two thieves crucified with him one on the right and another on the left and they passed by re reviled him wagging their heads so even two thieves was looking at him like yo like you know like man this, this nigga ain't shit man you know and saying thou that destroyed destroy us the temple and build us it in three days save thyself if thou be the son of god come down from the cross likewise also the chief priest mocking him with the scribes and the elders said see he saved others himself he cannot save if he be the king of israel let him now come down from the cross and we will believe him he cr he trusted in yahweh side let him deliver him now oh he, he trusted in yahweh let him deliver him now if he will have him for he said i am the son of yahweh the thieves also which were crucified cast the same teeth you know so yahweh saw went through the things that we we can't even imagine him going through man you know he had he he, he went through this stuff okay first peter 2 and 19 for this is thankworthy if a man for conscience towards Yahweh endure grief. We're gonna go through these pains, man. Okay? And and that's 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 the, the way it's supposed to be. You know? Our mindset's supposed to be on Yahweh. Whenever anything happens in this life, man, we know where it comes from. Okay? It says, For what glory is it if when you be buffeted for your faults you take it you shall take it patiently? So you go through these times that we go through, man, you lose whatever. You know, somebody, it could, it don't even have to be somebody mad at you. It could just be, be shit that you're going through in the world, man. You know, you, you, you're going through, through, um, pains in, in, in your, um, your, your financial woes or, or whatever, man. Your car might be going down, whatever, man. Okay. But, but in this truth, you're going to go through stuff, man. Brother's going, going to be hard on you. Okay. You, you should be hard on yourself. But if when you do well and suffer for it, you take it patiently, this is your, acceptable with Yahweh. Because you understand where it's coming from, man. Okay? even Whether it's good or bad, you understand where it's coming from. For even here on too, where you called because Yahweh Shah also suffered for us. And that's this is a part of the calling, man. If you want to be a part of the, 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 the chosen, you're going to have to, 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 to grow up, gird up your loins. And, 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 and follow Yahweh Shah, man. Leaving us an example of how we supposed to be that use of following his steps. Who did no sin, neither was God found, found in his mouth. Yahweh Shah didn't, didn't sin. But we go off all the fucking time, man. Okay? Who, when he was reviled, reviled not again. When he suffered, he threatened not. You know, and, and even even a, even a scoffers come because these scoffers are nothing but you know these people uh, uh, being uh, reincarnated again, okay. 
and 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 and, and one thing brothers need to know is that exposure is not a bad thing man okay it it, it the, the scriptures refer to certain things as um a double-edged sword okay now if you getting exposed or or something is happening um and 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 you let's say you you, you suffering patiently okay you suffering wrongfully or or um you 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 did something wrong okay and you getting exposed for it what you have to understand is that if if somebody is exposing you for doing off you as a nigga or something like that you looking at it you supposed to be able to say okay well yeah maybe i was um, i was wrong and that can that can get you right man even a fucking scoffer can say some shit that that can 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 have you looking at things like yo like yeah i did do something wrong but i i i, I can i can repent or i can change my my ways okay but then on top of that if you do something right and and and, and you still getting exposed whether it's bad or good then then you understand that that's that's your how shot or your how about some your side doing it man so so no type of exposure uh in, in any anything man you, the scripture say you can do nothing for the truth but you do nothing against the truth before the truth man so so brothers uh getting or, or put, putting up videos on you or or getting on you and stuff like that man that that shit is is nothing man okay you gotta have, you gotta uh be able to get through that shit man it says when he suffered he threatened not all, all that answering back and shit like that man okay but committed himself to him that judges righteously because yahweh yahweh by some yahweh is is in control of everything man yahweh by some yahweh saw it says who his own bear i mean his own self bear our sins and his own body on the tree that we being dead to sins should live unto righteousness by whose stripes you are you were healed for you were as sheep going astray but are now returned unto the shepherd and bishop of your souls okay and and yahweh side didn't have how about some yahweh side didn't have to uh bring us into this truth man you know he still don't he don't have to keep us in this truth he can take us out any any moment man you know um I'm gonna get this scripture and I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, end it. Romans 13 and one. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of Yahweh. Whether that's in this truth, which we this truth, okay, Israel, it's a certain order of things, man. From with great millstone, it's from apostle to hard on down, man. Okay, and then in the, in this world, you you ain't gonna just sit up there and go go. Uh, walk up to the fucking White House, okay? Cause you know that that's that's fucking idiotic, man. You know, y'all y'all about to y'all shot set up uh uh Donald Trump to be the, the the president, okay? He didn't do do that on his own, you know. The the most it says there are no power but of Yahweh. The powers that be are ordained of Yahweh. You whether it's a camp leader, somebody that's over top of you, okay? You got to be in subject, man. It says, Where so, whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of Yahweh. And this is this is the order, man. You know, that the fact that you're going to come into this truth, the, 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 the shit that you're going to have to go through is you're going to have, the, the stuff that you're going to have to endure, man. And they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. So you you resisting and you going against the order that that the Lord set up, okay? The the fact that you going to catch how you trying to go go against the order, whether it's from a brother, whether it's in your, in, in the world, okay? And you resisting this the, you resisting this chastise, chastisement, okay? You going to receive damnation, man. It says for rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil okay and, and and brothers you know when when um when brothers get on 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 um other brothers and, and and tell them like to do certain things okay we not doing this the it, we we don't sit up there and say yo the the nigga woman is a demon because we hate the nigga woman you know 
we 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 the, the nigga woman is is a is an angel, you know. So we getting on the nigga woman. That's that don't make no sense, man. We telling we telling them that you a nigga woman because you wicked, man. That you got to get right, you know. We 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 going we against evil, okay. The scripture says if Satan cast out Satan, you know how can this kingdom stand, okay? This ain't our kingdom, so we against this kingdom, man, okay. So, so when brothers get on on brothers about certain things that they do, you know that's that's in order to try to get you right, man. You know, it says, "Will thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have the praise of the same." And I, man, we'd rather go through these things, okay? That that are in this life, okay? Who 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 do you want your your, your chastisement from? From 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 man or from the Lord, man. And I remember Apostle Ramlop did a lesson on that. It says, "For he who is the the minister of Yahweh to you for good, but if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. You know, you do some wicked shit, you better be afraid, man. For he bears not the sword in vain, for he is the minister of Yahweh, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Wherefore you must be needs." You must needs be subject not only for wrath but also for your conscience sake. You know? So the things that we go through, man, we, we have to understand that the Lord can destroy us. The Lord can take us out, man. Okay? And and, and the things that we go through is not greater than what, what our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah went through, man. Okay? This is this is minuscule. This is this is you know, it might seem like it's hard, you know, but hey, the scriptures say what they say about all this, 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 uh, this, this grief that we go through, man. You know how happy you should be that you even, you even going through, through stuff, man. You know, so that you can get right. You know, not know, oh, what was me? What was me? You know, cause that's not, that's not the spirit of a, of a man of the Lord, man. Okay. But with that, man, hopefully this lesson was edifying. Okay. And I want to say shalom till next time.